mate. Hi, Bri. Uh, first of all, good to see you again, mate. I didn't see you that long ago. It's nice to see you back in the cage, getting your hand raised again. First of all, mate, I know it's a silly question, but how are you feeling, mate? That must feel great to be back on that winning column again. Yeah, I'm feeling great. Uh, I've been working on a lot of things, my wrestling. I'm just trying to put my game all around together. Uh, you know, when you take a couple of losses, people start to talk. But myself, I didn't know, really, really know what my game was. I was just striking. I didn't really mix it all properly. Uh, I've been working a lot on my wrestling, just trying to put everything together, uh, which has happened tonight. I've done a bit of improvements. I would have liked to go to a finish, but I didn't get it, so I'd just like to get another fight and uh, just trying to just show it all. I know you want, always want to finish, and you all have been finished people a lot in the past, but was it nice just to get those three rounds in to show people, like, look, this is how much I've improved my ground game, my wrestling, and all this sort of stuff. So you want the finish, but was it nice to show people that like, you have got the, what it takes to go three rounds at full pace if you need to? Yeah, it was nice. Before, people used to say, oh, he hasn't got cardio, or he can't wrestle, but I think now people will start thinking, you know, because they, be, they used to say all that, but now I'm showing that I can, I can wrestle. I have got the fitness that people say I didn't have. Uh, I'm still learning, so I feel that for me myself, it's just a matter of, uh, matter of just putting everything together and uh, just trying to get, get, get to the title. And I'm, I'm working really hard for that as well, so it's just a matter of time. It was nice. We saw a slightly different side of you tonight. Sort of thing. It, was, it was good to see how much you improved, and it showed. You know, you've come back, and back, back two fights ago, you may not have done what you did tonight. You yeah, because I mean? before, like I said, uh, also, People that called it a fluke when I fought Bolshev, but today I want to also show it to a better opponent. Honestly, I would like to finish. I didn't get it, but you know, you know people know it's not a fluke. I can wrestle. Next time, it will be even a better performance. And one more for me, um, training camp wise, I know you're here there, you do a bit of top team, you do a bit, you've got your own performance centre now. Where yeah. have, where's your main training camp been around for this fight, or you've been jumping between them? My main training, so I'm mixing between uh, All Stars in Sweden. Yeah with a GBT here in London with Brad Pickett. Reason being, because these guys know me, uh, I started training at All Star when I was about, I think, uh, 18. Early in my career, I was there. Uh, they know me quite well. And Brad, I trained with in America and knows the game that I'm good at. So we just want to pull everything together and uh, they have no egos. Everybody understand each other. So it's working fine for me, because for me, I, I was finding it hard as well to try to find a team that really understand me. Uh, I live in Doncaster, we don't have like top gyms to, to train at, so I'm having to move around a lot just trying to get the best training I can as possible, which now I feel like I found my home and uh, I'm still working, you know. Yeah, always getting out of your comfort zone sort of thing. Yeah. And um, how does it feel, one more for me, sorry, and how does it feel that now you've actually got young people underneath, like amateurs and stuff coming through, which you're training and putting through the fight scene now. Now you're like, yeah. you're the boss now, you know. Now it feels great because a lot of things like, I'm teaching, I'm having to drill it over and over myself again. So certain things like I'm going for a take that I have to know why I'm doing certain things so I can teach it to my students. So it, it kind of makes me a better fighter by just teaching other fighters as well. Yeah, nice, mate. I look forward to seeing you again, mate. Thank you. Last time you fought in London was 2019. Was it nice to be back? Yeah, I love, I love London crowd, you know. It's, it's home. Uh, they're always supporting me, so it was just nice to be back. I would have liked to put a better show for them today, but it's nice, it's better to get a win than to get a loss here. So, uh, and I've showed up tonight, I got the win, and I've made an improvement in my wrestling. And obviously two back-to-back -back wins now, so does that give you, you know, more, more motivation going, going forward now? 100%, it just building my confidence. I know my game's improving. I know people be scared of my wrestling now. I know I can strike, I know I can wrestle, so it's just a matter of time me start to put everything together and moving forward. And you mentioned All Stars, you've been obviously training there for some time, and have you, have you managed to, to, to get in some work with Hamza Shamayev at all? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I always, Hamza's a great guy, he's like, it, it pushes you. Like, if you're in a treadmill with him, he's, he's, you're going faster than him, he'll start putting his speed up. It's always competition, you're always competing with something, he never lets you, like, win. So he's pretty good. How do you think he does against Nate? <laughs> Smash him. <laughs> and of course, you know, you said about, you know, jumping from gym to gym. Nathaniel Wood, who is your teammate, yeah. uh, you know, he got the win just before you. Did, have you run into him yet? I've just seen him there. It looks bad. <laughs> it looks like he's been in a war. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Nathaniel. Uh, we both worked pretty hard, so it's nice to see us both get a win. 
because we both worked for it, so it's nice. Congratulations. Thank you. You've had some big wins across the course of your career. Coming up tonight and really showing your wrestling skills like that, where does this rank in the overall picture of your list of victories? Uh, to be honest, I'm not thinking about anything but just getting wins and moving forward. Wherever the UFC feel like putting me, uh, I'm ready. I feel like I face like my, my fight with Fizi, if he's not ranked top seven, Dan Hook, I think, is maybe 12, whatever. I'm just trying to put my game together so I can start entering the ranks like everybody else I fought already. And uh, I believe I'm capable of doing that. It's just a mile, staying in the gym, being active. I've seen a card in September uh, in France. I'd like to be on that. Uh, I'm injury free. So if you can get on that card, and that'd be great as well. Did you have anyone in mind for that? Anyone you want to I'll fight that? anyone. I'll fight anyone. I believe now I'm capable of being anybody. So uh, anybody. Yeah. And one of the things I noticed, like, you, you look physically very strong and they're very dynamic. Just wondering, have you done anything different with your sort of strength and conditioning in the lead up to this one? Uh, well, I'm working a lot, a lot of conditioning. Uh, I'm working a lot like, of uh, headstrong back, where, back home where I live in Leeds. We're working, like, tirelessly, uh, just trying to improve my physical and uh, my conditioning. Just trying to prove, prove everywhere, really, just to get better. Tonight, I had a different game plan, but the guy felt weak and uh, thought I could try work on things that I've been practicing, like uh, ground control, ground and pound. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I was trying to get tonight. Brilliant. Congrats on the win, buddy. Thank you. Congratulations, Carlton Fight Magazine, based in Sweden. What's it like training in Sweden? And why do you think Sweden's doing so well in MMA? Sweden, it's cold. <laughs> now, uh, it's nice out there. Like I said, I've been there for a while. The people there know me pretty well. And I'm always welcome in Sweden. So uh, it's about me having a great environment of training. Everybody trying to help each other. Uh, everybody, everybody's pushing. I call it probably hell. It's hell in there. It's a tough, <laughs> it's a tough gym to be in. But I love it because it, it makes me improve. So yeah, I love Sweden. Yeah.